Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and today we're going to go through a giant box of comic books for my friend Sean. So I think this is going to be a ton of fun digging through this box. All right, let's dig it. All right, I have this giant box full of comic books for my friend Sean. Oh, it's probably like a long box worth. He brings in like, you know, a stack of maybe like that big, like 40 or 50 at a time. So this is like a month and a half worth. Usually what happens is he brings in a stack and then I ask him, how much money do you need for the day? And he's like, oh, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. So that he can basically just keep on going out and hunting. And then when I have time, I catch up. I've been so busy the last month and a half or so. I haven't had time to catch up. But I did buy him uh, this. He wanted this comic book really badly. So I did buy him that. So that's like, it was like 140 I think, for a 9.8. Uh, so I that's going to pay for this a little bit. Plus, I've already given him a bunch of money just every time he brought stuff in. But I have to figure out how much more I owe him. So this is going to be fun. Let's go through this whole box and see what's inside. Okay, first stack of comic books. First one is an awesome, awesome Golden Age comic book. We have Captain Marvel number 46. Uh, when he brought it in, I took it out because I had to look at it. And it's a very solid looking copy. I think it has a water stain right here. So before the water stain, and there's a little bit of fox in right here. I think it's a solid like four or five, maybe even a five. I'm not 100% sure how much the water stain and the little bit of foxing brings it down. But there's no like rips or tears. There's like just a little bit of a crease, but it's in really nice shape. So I'm excited to pick that up for my collection. I would love to collect more Golden Age superhero stuff just because it's hard to find it for a good price. I think this is an issue he had for a while. He just decided he's ready to part with it. Uh, okay, we have uh, Excalibur Weird War 3 graphic novel. That's cool. I would like to put the full set of all the Marvel graphic novels from the 80s and 90s together. I think there's like 60 or so of them. I'm not sure how many total, but I always really liked those when I was a kid. Um, okay, we have... Heroes role-playing game, the New Teen Titans. So it's a role-playing game from the 80s, New Teen Titans. That's super cool. Uh, Noctura number one. I think this one has a little bit of value now. That is cool. Uh, oh, oh, or upside down. All right, let's flip these. So we have Wonder Twins number 11. A lot of this stuff will be stuff he probably picked up from dollar bins. Uh, that he loves hunting for comic books. He goes out almost every day. Uh, in the winter, he kind of slowed down a little bit, but now that the weather's getting nicer, I, I feel like he's out every day again <laughs> after work on the weekend. And so, like, if he can find really cool stuff like this for like a buck, and then he'll decide if he wants it, and then if he doesn't want it, he'll trade it to me or he'll sell it to me for a good price. So I usually I give him for things that are over like five dollars. I try to give him about half value. Anything under five dollars, I try to give him at least this dollar if I can. Uh, Walking Dead, oh, what number is this? Not sure the number, but it's a Midtown exclusive. So that is really awesome. Love getting those weird exclusives. Uh, Marvel Preview Zero War. Oh, that's oh that's the Fortnite comic book. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, my son is really... I was just going to say that looked like one of the Fortnite characters from the season. <laughs> my son's really excited for that set. So we're going to have to go get all those as they come out. Put these all around. See what's going on. Okay, we got. All right, we have Tankers number one. That's a cool looking cover. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one ten. Looks like he paid a dollar fifty at the Strand. A Venom versus Carnage number one. That's a cool comic book. Really like that. Oh, Simpsons number one. This is an undervalued key. I think this one will go up pretty soon. I think in the next five years, this issue people will start going after it. Because it doesn't have a ton of value right now. Maybe 10 bucks, But it's The Simpsons, right? I feel like undervalued. Uh, Spawn 301. That is super cool. Uh, Spawn comic books in the 200s tend to have a lot of value. The 300s, I'm not 100% sure on. But I'll look it up and figure it out. Either way, that's cool. Because I don't think I have that one. Uh, JLA Gatekeeper number one. That's a really cool cover. Okay, first stack of stuff is actually a lot of fun. Let's get the next stack. Okay. Next stack, we start with a Thor number one. This one's definitely in demand right now with the new movie coming out later this year with the trailer and everything. That one's definitely got some value. A uh, Batman Shazam number two. Oh, we have a couple of those. Uh, Spider-Man 359. I think that's the first cameo of Carnage or the first like cameo of Cletus who becomes Carnage. Something like that. I think that one has a little bit of value. Uh, new Mutants 97. Captain Marvel 13. 
JLA Foreign Bodies. Venom Spider Island, number eight. That's a cool cover. Uh, Batman the Drowning, number one. Really awesome metallic cover. I like that one a lot. Uh, a couple of free comic book day Spider-Man. This one actually has a little bit of value, I think. Ooh, this is really cool. We have a Lady Mechanica number four, but the incentive version. That is neat. That's I love collecting that series, so that is cool. Okay, and then we have the Simpsons Comics and Stories. This predates number one. This is like a one-shot. This one also, I think, will have value. And it looks like there's... Oh, no, I think it came with a poster, so it's still in this original plastic. This is one I think is worth holding on to, because I think it's going to gain value pretty soon, in the next few years. Batman Adventures, The Lost Years. That one's cool. Ooh, Marvel Age 24 with Sergio Aragon. He'll pick up stuff like this just because he knows I love Gru. He'll pick it out of a dollar bin. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, number one. That looks like a... Yeah, it's an Audie Granoff cover. That is a gorgeous cover. Wow, that is cool. Oh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number 18. He knows I love this series, too. So that's cool. Uh, number 13. I'm still missing a couple of the key issues. There's the one where she's with the Kingpin. That's like a first appearance of someone. That one is really expensive. I don't have that one. I need to find it. Uh, Fall of the Hulks, number one variant cover. That's a fun cover. Oh, there's two in there. And then Fall of the Hulks, number one variant cover. Uh, John Romita Jr. Ah, that's probably got some value to it. That is cool. Uh, Loot Crate, Street Fighter, number one. Pokemon, number one. That probably has some value. It looks beat up, but even beat up, it's got to have some value. I feel like something like this will also be a comic book that will explode in value pretty soon. Uh, Secret Empire, number one, variant edition. Justice League United Annual, number one. Justice League United, number zero. Okay, that stack is pretty cool. <sighs> With Sean's stuff, what he brings to me, it's very mixed up because it's not like it's a collection he's selling. What it is is stuff that he found in dollar bins that he just thought had a chance of having value or that I would want or that he just thought was cool. So he finds a lot of really cool stuff. And then he'll pepper in some stuff that he had for a long time that has value just to make it a little bit more exciting for me. Or maybe it's something that was a key issue that when it came out, he bought a couple copies and then he'll sell me one just to make a few bucks, make a little profit. Uh, Sleepwalker Holiday Special number one. That one's neat. Dark Minds number one. And Humans vs. X Men Collected Horror version. Dark Minds number zero. Uh, Next Men number one. Brave and the Bold number one. The Vision Chapter three. I don't know if that series has any value or not. It's got a little bit of a sticky on the back here. Not sure which part is sticky. Uh, the Vision Chapter 4. This one's also sticky. It just, it's an old bag, I guess. Uh, Godzilla number 5. That's a cool cover. I like that one. Amazing Spider-Man number 1. The Midtown Comics variant. It's Arthur Adams artwork. That is super awesome. Uh, Elf Quest number 1. Siege at Blue Mountain. That's neat. Mega Man number 2. He's always picking up the game stuff because he knows I love that. Uh, Nuclear Winter Special number 1. Awesome cover. Love that. Static Shock number 8. Men of War, number one. Doctor Strange, 33. Scarlet Witch, number two. Classics Illustrated Junior, number five, six. Did they do 500 comics? I don't know. It's a lot of comic books. Uh, Our Love Story, number 30. That's cool. Uh, White Widow, number two. I kind of want to get a bunch of the White Widow issues. I just like the covers. I think they're fun. And then, uh, not sure the comic book, but it's Deadpool versus Black Panther. Limited 3,000 previews exclusive. That's cool. like that a lot. And Hulk number 18 variant. That's a fun cover, too. It's really funny. Oh, and there's one more hiding behind here. Uh, Tsunami Girl. That's kind of really cool looking. Interior artwork's a little bit boring, but the cover is awesome. All right, that was a fun stack. I usually, when he brings stuff in, too, I look at it briefly just because I kind of want to see what's in it. But I also like to wait till I see him on video so I don't go through all of it. But I usually trust that if he wants like 50 bucks, it's going to be a lot more than $50 worth, basically. Uh, I'm not sure what comic book that is, but that is a fun virgin variant. Uh, Lucifer, number one, the essentials. So that's like a reprint, I believe. Icon 27, I think that's one of the later numbers. Blood Syndicate, number eight. Shadow Cabinet, number 14. Black Panther, number two. Pop Tate. I don't know what that is, but it's a fun Archie comic book. Oh, Fat Albert. I don't know the number, but that's fun. You know, I never thought about it. I wonder what his first appearance is. If there's, a, like, a number one, if that's worth anything. Uh, Hanna-Barbera Scooby-Doo Mysteries. I love the 70s Scooby-Doo. I want to collect all those. 
A Wonder Woman number seven. Civil War one variant comic book. I kind of miss the variant comic books that they used to put in with the collector core boxes. Without the comic book, I kind of don't like the boxes as much. Uh, Wonder Woman number four. Wonder Woman number seven. Beautiful Jenny Friesen cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 16, collector core. Champion number one, collector core. Suicide Squad number one, collector core. Uh, Superman, Batman number five. The Sentry versus the Void. Don't know if there's a number on that. Uh, looks like a she. Not sure what issue that is. That's cool though. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. That's a really cool cover. Or the number three, the movie. And then uh, Symbiote Spider-Man number one. All right, that was a fun set. The only negative about sorting Schwann's collection when I get them is that it's all over the place that it's really hard to sort. It's not like it's 50 issues from Run Run that I could just sort real quickly. It's like all over the place. <laughs> but that makes it a little bit more fun as well because it's like it's mostly just more interesting stuff. It's not a lot of filler. Birds of Prey 83. Batman Beyond number two. That one's probably got a little bit of value, although it's got a little bit of a tear there. But still, Batman Beyond I think will explode as soon as they do like a TV series or a movie. Uh, Godzilla number three. That is cool. Oh, there's one on the back. Godzilla number four. Wow, those are gorgeous covers. I really like that. Godzilla number two. Beautiful painted cover. Godzilla number one. Also gorgeous cover. Spawn 323. I like that cover. That artist is fun. All the Spawn covers he does is really neat. Uh, Icon or Blood Syndicate versus Icon number five. Guardians of the Infinity number one variant. Book of Magic, Annual Number One, Justice League United Number One. Uh, Sean loves his Number One, so he picks him up all the time. Uh, Creatures on the Loose, Number Thirty Seven, but the Pence variant that is super cool. I love getting the Pence variants. Man Thing Number Seventeen Pence variant it does. No, it has stuff on the bag, but I don't think it's actually on the comic book, so that's awesome. Uh, I wish the bag was cleaner because I'll keep it just for the Forbidden Planet sticker that says 30 pence on it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Someone actually bought that in the UK. Uh, the Flash 43 standoff number, uh, I guess number one variant edition. That's a cool cover. really like that. And it's a wraparound. Oh, Miss Marvel's on the back. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Betty and Veronica, number two. Awesome Adam Hughes cover. I love that. He does the interior work on this as well. So this is, to me, this is an underrated. If you like Adam Hughes, you should buy this series. Because it's a whole comic book full of his artwork. Uh, Batman 66, The Lost Episode, number one. That's a cool looking comic book. Really love that. I love how the couch is like all chaotic on the side. The normal on that side. Awesome cover. Uh, Metal, number six. Beautiful cover. Uh, Future Foundation, number one. With the power pack. That is neat. I think it's Power Pack. I guess it's just the Future Foundation, but it looks like the members of Power Pack. Uh, Dark Minds, number one. A Marvel Team Up, number 59. And Dark Crisis, number 23. And all new X-Men, number one, variant edition. Gorgeous cover. Wow, that one is beautiful. I love that. Uh, interior is a little bit boring. No, it's kind of cool. But that cover is gorgeous. Okay, that was fun. Okay, another little stack here. We have Conan 49. Love my Conan. Uh, Blade the Immortal 104. I think he grabbed a whole bunch of these out of dollar bins. He knows I kind of like getting the you know, manga type stuff. That is cool. I'd like to put a set of those together. Blade the Immortal number 120. Green Arrow 45 variant cover. Oh, the Good Asian number 3. That's cool. I heard this series is really good. Uh, the Flash number 0. Strange Fruit, number one. I heard this series is good, too. My friend Sean always says it's good. I should read it. Uh, Flashpoint, number four. That's cool. I think that... Uh, I know a few from this one are key issues. I forget which ones, though. It might just be number one, but I'll double-check. All these I'm going to look up and double-check values before I let Sean know how much I owe them. A uh, Hawkman, the Infected, number 18. That's a cool cover. Let me clear those out. We've got another stack here. Okay. we got Battle Chasers, number four. I think some of these issues are starting to gain value. Ooh, okay. Forgot this was in there. We have Haunt of Fear number six in terrible shape. It's like a 0.5, but still, that is cool. It's not like I get that traded in every day. All right, that'll be my issue until I find a better one. Oh, uh, now we have a Heroes Convention poster thing. June 24th, 26th online, I guess. Okay. Uh, Masters of the Universe, number 8. Really cool Orco cover. Love that. Star Wars Tales from Mos Eisley, number... I guess it's a one-shot. 
Thor number five, the zombie variant. I think that one has some value. Uh, not sure which issue this is. Let's see the back cover size. Spawn 294 maybe? Uh, or is that just an ad? Because this is number three. Not sure. That's a cool cover though. Really like that cover. Uh, Witchblade number two. But this one is a little bit warped and a little bit sticky. Whatever it got on there got sticky. The Me You Love in the Dark. That is a fun cover. That, that sounds fun. It looks like a old school like horror kind of issue. Black Panther 26. Black Panther 27. A Walk with Monsters number 3. That looks cool. Uh, we only find them when they're dead number 2. Let's go. Oh, this is a little bit sticky. Okay. A uh, Hulk Annual number 12. Punisher War Journal number 11. Miss Marvel number 3 Variant Edition. That's cool. I need to fill in that set because I have a feeling it's going to be really hard to get the rest I need. Uh, Uncle Scrooge, not sure the number, but awesome sci-fi cover. Love that one. Uh, Walt Disney Comics and Stories, not sure the number, but that's cool. 1969, so late 60s. This is cool. So Silver Age, it's flipped to 15 cents, but still Silver Age. Love those. Uncle Scrooge, that is cool. You know he picked those up for me because he knows that I like the Disney stuff and the old school. He'll buy pretty much any Golden Age he sees in a dollar bin. Maybe two bucks, but he'll buy it because he knows I'll give him like three or four bucks or more if it's worth more. Gene Autry, the champion, uh, Bugs Bunny, or that comic album with Bugs Bunny. That is super cool. I love when he finds me the old stuff. And a Tarzan. Okay, that was actually a really cool bundle of stuff. Okay, we got the next stack here. We're halfway through. This is the second half of the box. So we have the Sandman number 75, uh, Sandman number 54, X-Men number 36, Detective 1027, that is cool, uh, X-Men number 6, oh he knows I like Sky Doll, I think I have these already but that's still cool, they have some value to them. So we have Sky Doll number 3, Sky Doll number 1. Uh, we have the Incredible Hulk 600 variant edition. That's cool. The Real Ghostbusters number five. I do like this stuff. And it sells well. When I put this in my shop for like three to five dollars, it sells. I don't know if I need this issue though. I have to double check first. Uh, Captain Stone. He bought these from Midtown Comics for a buck a piece. But he just said the interior artwork looked really cool. So he grabbed them for me because he knew I would like this. Yeah, it is really cool looking. Like it just inside, it's really well painted. I don't. I guess it's probably digital art, but there's just something about it that's gorgeous. Yeah, I love when you open up a comic book and the interior is just as much fun or better than the cover, right? Because usually the effort's put into the cover, and then sometimes the interior kind of sucks. This is cool. It's like an old '70s or early '80s look to it. Wow, that is neat. I really like that. Thanks for picking that up for me, Sean. Really like that. Okay, and then we have Sky Doll number two. So he had the whole set of those. Uh, Real Ghostbusters number 21. Uh, Skybound. Uh, I think it's just a Skybound like anthology series, maybe. Not 100% sure, but that looks cool. Uh, Real Ghostbusters 23. Catwoman number one. Thor number 22, a Gwen variant. Beautiful cover. I love that. Wow. Another one of these Stone comic books or Captain Stone. That's cool. And then number one. So yeah, one, two, and three. Those are really cool though. The interior artwork's nice. Okay, let me move those. All right, let's see what we got here. We have Black Summer, number three. Black Summer, number two. Black Summer, number four. Uh, Creator-owned Heroes Incentive Cover, number, I guess, issue one. A nice cover, I like that. Swamp Thing, number one, the walmart exclusive oh he always grabs the comic shop news and gives them to me a veronica 193 so i would like that one it's good i i like it but i don't love it i feel like the artwork is a little bit lazy compared to the original stuff from the 60s uh all new wolverine number 18 i would love to complete this series so i'm really happy to get a variant from that because that's a little bit harder for me to get uh wonder woman 14 more comic shop news sabrina number 72 oh that's like a manga version Oh, that's fun. So it's like Sabrina is a manga. Uh, comics interview with the Frazetta cover. That's gorgeous. Max Immortal. Double Trouble. Spider-Man is a cute 
Spider-Man and Venom like cartoony cover. Love that. Uh, Batman and Robin number six with a Frank Miller cover. Betty Page Unbound number two. Warhammer Monthly number eight. Savage Dragon number 62. Is this... What year did this come out? 99. Okay, that's interesting. It looks newer than it is. Uh, Blade of the Immortal, two of two. Swamp Thing number one, another one of those Walmart issues. Uh, Blade of the Mortal, two of five. God Country number two. I love how they do like homage to the 90s on all these. <laughs> or and some 80s stuff. It just is cool. Uh, Captain America 2099 variant. That is really neat. Oh, and another comic shop news. Okay, that was fun. Okay. Uh, Blade of the Immortal number seven. Again, it just manga reprints. So th that's cool. Uh, Marvel Comics 1001 variant edition. That's really neat. I'm guessing it's a wraparound cover. But I don't feel like taking it out right now. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four Chronicles. That's fun. Nightwing number 29, I think. Black Zeppelin number one. He just grabbed it because he likes... When he sees weird indie stuff from the 70s, he just grabs it. And I also kind of like collecting it. So he usually sells it to me if he decides not to keep it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Civil War 2 number one, a hip-hop variant. That's good. He got it for a good price for a buck. So that's cool. Howard the Duck number 31. Love Howard the Duck. Uh, Bella Lugosi's Tales from the Grave. Blade the Mortal number two. Uh... Oh, that's a Power Ranger. Uh, I'm not sure if he got that for a dollar or paid more, but the Power Ranger Virgin variant. That's cool. I love those. Uh, the Goon Scotty Young covered. Not sure what issue, but that is amazing. That's really cool. Uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four 23. Is that the first Marvel Zombies? Or is it the issue before? I forget. It's around this issue is the first Marvel Zombies. So that one might have some value, actually. Uh, Batman DC Connect 24. Is that just like... Uh, yeah, it's like a news highlight of all the new comics coming out kind of thing. That's cool. Uh, Blade the Mortal, 2 of 7. Number 3 of 7. Number 2 of 7. Number 3 of 3. Uh, a virgin variant of a wrestling comic book. DC Connect, number 19. Uh, Spawn, number 318. I, don't, I think it's a variant version. That is really cool. I like that one. And Wonder Woman, 41. Beautiful cover. And, oh, Wonder Woman 56, but a fun foil cover. Oh, yeah, that is really cool. Okay, I enjoyed that stack. Okay, another stack here. We have a Justice League 2022 annual. Beautiful cover. Who did that? It looks very familiar, the artist. Uh, <laughs> Art and cover, Sanford Green. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, X-Men number 25 variant cover. Beautiful cover. Love that one. A Doctor Strange number two. Uh, Morrigan number one of three. Avengers Wasteland number one. Tricky Style. Just a weird indie comic book. I like that. Uh, X-Men number four. Cool Headless Horseman, but Cyclops cover. I like that. Powers of X number one of six. Time Will Tell Eminem's variant comic book. Teeny Titans number 50. Avengers Forever, number four, Carnage cover. That's cool. Uh, not sure what that is. I guess it's Isgla? Not sure, but it looks really fun. Oh, and then we have another issue of that. A couple issues. Oh, okay. You must have grabbed the whole set. I wonder if you probably grabbed those out of a dollar bin. I'm assuming you just grabbed them because they looked interesting. And they do look interesting. Actually, let me look inside. Oh, yeah, the artwork inside is gorgeous. It's almost... Like a cinematic animated look to it. I love when comic books look like that. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, that is super cool. I'm actually glad he grabbed those. So there's a whole set of those. I don't know the number because I don't see, you know, I probably have to actually open it up and look inside to figure out what number is what. This is issue three. I don't know if there's a three. Oh, on the back cover is how I'd figure that out. Okay. <laughs> Put them on the front cover. Otherwise, I can't figure out what it is. A whole bunch of those. Uh, self-made number two. That's a cool cover. Okay, those are fun. Okay, what do we got here? We got self-made number three. Okay, self-made number four. It looks like he actually got these at Midtown for 50 cents, which is good. 
or maybe not because this one's 450 so maybe you got them second hand at another shop for a buck each these are cool looking though i really like those oh peter porker the spectacular spider ham number two love that one uh star wars number one midtown exclusive that is super cool x-men 231 x-men 75 marauders number eight grendel cycle uh it's a trade paperback don't know the number uh the amazing spider-man number 80 that's a cool looking cover i like that one a lot uh batman 92 love that cover rick and morty little poopy superstar number one that's cool justice league annual number two justice league annual number one x-men 271 oh there's a few more x-men 240 and x-men 316 okay fun stuff okay let's see what we got here we got uh uncanny x-men 239 blade the mortal number 60 he got me a whole bunch of those uh batman gates of gotham number two the amazing mary jane number six newton's 99 young blood 71 uh self-made number six that's a cool cover uh, Star Wars 38 action figure variant, 39 action figure variant. Uh, I wonder if we got all of these out of a dollar bin. These are cool. Uh, number 30, number 29. Oh, that's double sided. Number, let's see, 28. Number 27. Number 26. The Amazing Spider Man, number 5. Cool shocker cover. Really like that. Spider Man Annual 42. The Flash number nine. Uh, something about this cover I really like. It's just very simple but fun. Love that. Amazing Spider Man number three, second printing. Uh, Nita Hawk's Nightmare Blog number three. Okay, that was fun. Okay, and then the final stack of comic books. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Sonic number 38. That is cool. Sonic 194. Sonic 39. Do love the Sonic comic books. Number 33, number 34, number 36, uh, number 35, Aquaman, number 6, Critical Role of Vox Machina, number 3, I think. That is cool. The Flash, number 10, Wonder Woman, number 8, Awesome Jenny Friesen cover, uh, Marvel Comics 101, I think that's a duplicate, Battle Pug, number 1, that's kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, Evil Ernie, The Resurrection, number two. Number three. Blade of the Mortal, 116. Number, uh, it's a one-shot. Number five of seven. So all these are different, like, miniseries, I think. And uh, just a one-shot again, I think. Thor, God of Thunder, number four. And Amazing Spider-Man, 141. That's actually pretty nice. And decent, yeah, it's in good shape, I think. Awesome comic book. Really like that one. All right. Ooh, that was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.